It's the most wonderful time of the year. <laughs> Oh my god. Guys, guess what time it is? It is that time that all of us beauty lovers, addicts, people who need psychological help, this is our time. This is our moment. It is the Sephora VIB Rouge sale and I'm sure that the VIB and the BI sale will be shortly after this one but I went today to the Sephora store and I did some hectic hectic damage. I actually was driving home today from the Sephora store and I actually felt like guilt and just disgust with myself that I spent that much at the Sephora store. Like I was just like, I I just can't. Like I just can't even look at myself in the mirror. <laughs> I got home, I ate dinner, I took a shower and I'm like, I really need to talk to someone about all the stuff that I got. And on the way home from the Sephora sale, I called my husband and I said to him, oh my gosh, I'm so lonely. I need someone to talk to about all of the great stuff that I got. And he's like, don't you have YouTube friends? <laughs> So here I am talking to you guys, my YouTube friends. So I hope you guys are as excited about this sale as I am. Honestly, I feel like everything has gone up in price because I feel like I got less product this year, but I spent the most amount I have ever spent anywhere in my life in one purchase, like other than stuff for my wedding. It, it, it actually is just like ridiculous when I think about the amount of money that I spent. Um, I kind of feel, like I said, sick to my stomach, but I also know, and I keep telling myself, it's okay, it's just once a year, you're getting stuff, you know, for the next little while. I also got gifts, obviously, so I'm just hoping I can, like, just talk myself out of feeling really guilty and disgusting. <laughs> So today when we were at the cashier paying for everything at the Sephora sale, my sister was beside me and, and each time the girl would take one of my items and scan it, I literally felt like my heart like just skip a beat. And I literally felt like I was having heart palpitations because I was so nervous about the price. At first, like I was like, okay, this is fine. But she just kept taking items and it felt like she just was scanning and scanning and scanning. And every time she was scanning, it was like 50, 60, 70, 20, 30, and it was just like the price kept getting higher and higher, and I literally was like, oh my god, my husband is gonna kill me. Even my sister was feeling anxious just waiting to hear the amount of my bill. Yesterday I wanted to go online and just do some pre-sale shopping because I'm just crazy like that. And I'm in the bed and Brandon is beside me and I'm putting stuff in the cart. I put like two things in the cart and it was over a hundred dollars. Like, are you kidding me? Like, I feel like every time the Sephora sale comes, I get so excited and I make this big list of everything that I want to buy. And then I'm like, holy, like 20% isn't really that much when you see how expensive some of the items are at Sephora. I mean, I literally had like two items in my cart and it was like $150. I'm like, are you kidding me right now? So obviously that's why I spent like a lot of money and I feel like I don't really have that many products but obviously that just might be me just being like really extra and just crazy for those of you who follow me on snapchat you would have saw that i was like updating you guys with like my totals and just things that i was planning to get and i feel like everybody can relate to that you know you have like this big idea of what you're gonna get and then you put it all in your car and then you look at your car and you're like nah honey not today this ain't happening that is just too much so i had a little bit of that when i was up there today at the sephora cashier okay so before i get into the actual haul and i will put a timestamp right here of when the actual haul starts for those of you who just want me to shut up and don't want to hear what I have to say but for all of my subscribers or people who have seen my videos before you know I love to chit chat so I am going to just put a timestamp here for those of you who don't want to listen to me talk and you can just skip this part but I wanted to tell you guys something that really kind of upset me this year with the whole sale thing going on with Sephora so first and foremost I didn't even get the email saying that the Sephora sale was happening my sister happened to get the email we're both VIB Rouges and she sent it to me and I was like wait what the sale is happening so I started to freak out. Um, I ended up putting it on Snapchat that the sale was happening and then one of my personal friends messaged me as well. She's a VIB Rouge and she said she didn't get the email either. So I tweeted out Sephora and they added me to the list and the day of the sale, which was today, which is Friday, they sent me an email saying yes, the sale is on. But I was just so confused as to why not everybody got the email. It seemed like a lot of people on Sephora's Twitter did not get the email that the sale was happening. That in itself was just like a red flag to me. I was like, hold on, that doesn't make any sense. Why would this happen? Because I literally get every other single email except for this one. And then I find out that there's no event this year. And I know for some of you, you might think, oh, this girl is so dramatic or she's so high maintenance. Why do you need an event? Blah, 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 blah. But I take pride in being a VIB Rouge and I give Sephora a lot a lot of my hard-earned money every single year to be a VIB Rouge. So for them to take away that event, I was kind of like, uh, really displeased about it. Today when I went to the store and I was trying to shop, it was so 
chaotic, like extremely chaotic. I think it was very silly on Sephora's part not to have the event. One, because I love talking to the girls and even the guys at Sephora who work there who have tips and tricks with different products. And it was so chaotic today because there were tons of people. There is a school that is near the mall that I went to that had the Sephora. And there were high school kids everywhere. They weren't necessarily buying anything. They just came to put on makeup and, you know, and play with the hair products. And it was very frustrating because I was literally there. I was on my mission. I was like, I'm here here to shop. I'm here to get my stuff. I've been waiting all year for this sale. I plan around the sale and I'm so excited. And then I have these like, you know, kids all around me who could care less. <laughs> I was really sad. I really look forward to the Sephora events and I feel like they make a lot more money off me when they have these events because when, you know, I find a person at the store who has really good recommendations. I love talking to them and I end up picking up products that I wasn't even planning on picking up. So I'm very, very shocked that Sephora decided not to have an event this year. Um, really really disappointed it was not the shopping experience that I usually have every November I usually love going I'm usually the first one in line and the last one to leave the store always and I'm not kidding you I have made friends at every Sephora location near my house or my work because of the amount of times that I go there literally I recognize people and they recognize me every time I go into Sephora and this time it was just so chaotic I have never gone to a Sephora store and wanted to leave as quickly as I did today. Like I literally, my sister said to me, are you ready to go? And usually I'll find any excuse not to. I'll wanna take one more lap around the store. And this time I was like, yeah, I'm ready to go. I just wanna get out of here because there were so many people. I was literally like pushing people. <laughs> it was just so chaotic. I'm glad that I got all my stuff. And I know at the end of the day, that's the most important thing is that they had the Sephora sale. But I don't know, I pay out a lot of money into Sephora. So I think the least they could do is have the yearly event that they do for the VIB Rouges. Especially because when I first became a VIB Rouge, there was tons of events, like tons of events. And now they hardly have any. So anyways, that's my little spiel. I just need to get that off my chest and if any of you are VIB Rouges or your VIBs and you've been to these events before, let me know in the comments if you feel the same way or if I'm just overly emotional about <laughs> makeup, which, you know what, I, I am. Like, I mean, I go there and I look forward to this. Like, this is something that I really enjoy. So for me, when they take that away, it, it, it bothers me because this is something that, like, I look forward to. Just like someone might look forward to, I don't know, going to, like, a car show or going to, like, I don't know, an accounting show. Or do they have such things? <laughs> Okay, so the first thing that I picked up was the Laneige. I hope I'm saying that right, but it's the Laneige or Laneige, I can't remember, the Hydration Trial Kit. So the reason why I thought this kit was an awesome deal was because I have tried this brand before. I've gotten many samples of this brand and I have loved it every single time. They're paraben free, they're sulfate free, and you guys know how important that stuff is to me when I'm buying skincare products. The reason why I was so excited to get this kit because usually I don't buy little hydration kits I think that they're a waste of money because you can just take the big sizes that you have and put them in containers and it actually saves you a lot more money but the reason I was super excited to get this kit was because it's actually really good sizing for the price that you get and on top of that it's really good products a lot of times I find that sometimes my skincare routine when I travel really lacks because I'm using products that I'll just you know get on samples and stuff because I don't want to have to pack like the proper skincare items that I have but this one is already packed it's so cute and the thing that I loved about it not only does it come in its own case but it has a morning routine section it has like a nighttime routine section and then it also has some cream so the thing it comes with six different pieces um, the first thing is a multi cleanser this is just a cleanser to take off any makeup or any dirt throughout the day the next thing that you get is you get a water bank serum. This is especially great for night to help hydrate your skin and just replenish all the moisture in your skin. In addition, you also get the water bank moisture cream as well as the water sleeping mask, which is something that I absolutely love. One of my favorite products from this brand. It is so hydrating for your skin. I can't even explain to you guys. And one thing that I should mention for any of my younger viewers, so viewers who are about my age and younger, this is the time where you wanna be hydrating your skin. You don't need anti-aging at this point in your life. You don't, like you just don't need it. Your skin isn't at that level yet. But what you wanna be doing to prolong, you know, wrinkles and to prolong any dryness in your skin or any crow's feet or any lines, anything 
anything like that is to keep your skin hydrated. The more hydrated that you keep your skin, the better you're going to look in the long run and the less you're going to need anti-aging going forward. So something like the water sleeping mask is amazing, especially for when you travel, because I said this a million times, but when you travel, your skin really takes the brunt of it. And when you go up into the air, it really affects your skin and it makes your skin dry. And then the last two items that are in the little trial kit is the balancing emulsion and this basically just helps protect the skin and then you also have a toner. This is the Power Essential Skin Toner and so basically you have a whole nighttime routine, you have a whole daytime routine and I just love it. It's such an easy thing to just pack and go. You don't need to worry about your skincare and you can trust that you're getting really good quality products while you're traveling which is one of my yes please honey give it to me lord. <laughs> I want to show you guys my receipt. Look at my receipt. It doesn't even fit in the camera. This is my receipt. Whoa. <laughs> Next item that I picked up, I'm really excited to pick up and I don't know if people are going to be like, okay, you're crazy. Why would you get that? That doesn't work. But I'm actually going to try it and tell you guys if it works is this thing over here. And it's so funny because every time I have talked about this product, people think that I'm making up the name. Yesterday I was telling Brandon about this product and I said to him, Oh, I'm going to get the Brazilian bum bum cream. And he goes to me, you're making that up. There's no such product called the Brazilian bum bum cream. And I'm like, I swear there is. So this is the Brazilian bum bum cream. And I'm actually probably going to open it up for you guys. It comes in a set like this. And let me tell you, I originally was not going to get this set because I could care less about this product right here. But this product right here is $57. This product together was $69. I'm like, are you kidding me? Just add 12 more dollars and I can get this shower gel. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Why not? So some might call me a sucker, which my husband would say, oh, they got you. But I say, hey, that's a deal, right? Basically, it comes with this Brazilian foreplay. <laughs> Oh my god, I just realized the name. Moisturizing cream gel. So you use this in the shower. It's basically a soap. And the bum bum cream. So the bum bum cream, I'm super excited to try. I actually also got a smaller version of this right here for my mother-in-law as part of her gifts for like an upcoming gift. But I don't think she watches my videos. So I don't think she'll know that I got it for her. Hopefully not. Anyways, it smells so... Look at it. Like it's like this really nice... Oh, it smells so good. Maybe like vanilla. Is that how you would describe the scent? I'm really bad at describing scents. But anyways, it is... I love the packaging. I think they did awesome with the packaging. And they say when I was researching on it that it's really great for just toning up areas of your body. Now, one thing that I said to my sister when we were at the store was like, you don't technically obviously need to buy this cream. Like, you could t easily take caffeine, which is like the primary component of this is Brazilian like caffeine, and just rub it on your skin. Like, use it as an exfoliant to help tighten your skin. Like, this isn't going to work one this doesn't mean you can eat the 10 cheeseburgers and you put this on and you're gonna be all tight like freaking Jennifer Anderson okay you still need to go to the gym you still need to watch what you eat but it's gonna help those areas you know like just tighten up any areas on your decollete your neck area your arms especially like the saggy parts underneath here maybe like around the bra area where we all have that bulge you know it's just a helpful thing for you to just add to your routine so I want to see how it works I'm gonna try it um, who doesn't like a firmer bum or a firmer body I don't like using products like these and I did a lot of research on this before I got it because I hate using products that people use to take away from actually like working out or eating healthy but when I found out this was no parabens and it's made with pretty natural products I was like okay I'll give this a try um, and if I don't like it what's the worst that happens at least I got it on 20% off right one thing that I should probably mention before I talk about the next few products and kind of explain um, how I'm feeling right now about my skin and just about makeup in general um, a lot of the products that I got at the Sephora sale were all about skincare and I did get some makeup products because obviously this is my makeup channel and I do love makeup um, but I'm just realizing the importance of skin and just having really healthy beautiful skin you could buy all of the most beautiful makeup in the world but if your skin and is just not healthy and it looks dull and it constant breakouts it's just not gonna do the same thing you can wear five dollar makeup and have amazing skin and look just as great as someone who has really bad skin and is wearing like hundred dollar makeup so I really want you guys to understand the importance of skincare and I talk about it so much on my channel and I know that I've really lacked in not giving you guys enough skincare videos and that's something that I definitely want to focus on especially 
with the winter seasons coming up. So a lot of the products that I got is skincare products that I've researched for a long time and that I want to incorporate to my routine. And that's also one of the reasons why I'm not wearing makeup today because you don't always have to wear makeup to feel beautiful and um, you guys should love the skin that you're in no matter how your skin looks because this is you and you need to embrace it. So I went makeup free today. I literally got out of the shower. I'm wearing like a sweatshirt and I decided that I was just going to come and chit chat with you guys because you guys are like my YouTube best friends and I thought, hey, why not? Why do I have to put on like pounds of makeup and sit here and then take it off again after? It doesn't make any sense. I wanted to be comfortable with you guys and I wanted to explain to you how I'm just seeing my skin lately. I just want to embrace the skin that I'm in and that's why I've chosen not to wear makeup right now. Uh, obviously it's a makeup channel and I'll be literally doing a makeup tutorial, like the next tutorial. So if you want to see me in makeup, sure, go and check those videos out. I have tons. Anyways, I just went off track because that's what I love to do. But yeah, I just really want to focus on skincare this next little while. Just making sure my skin is really beautiful and hydrated because I want to be like 50 years old and look like I'm 30. Hell yeah, I will take that any day, okay? Who wouldn't want that? I want to be like that, and that's why I'm focusing a lot in making sure that my skin can just be beautiful all the way up until I'm 50 or 100 or a million, hopefully a million. <laughs> so the next product that I got that honestly, guys, if I were to say I was most excited about one product from the sale, it would be this. Not only because I'm a skincare junkie, because I just think that the value you get for this is just amazing. So this is the Dr. Jart Masking All The Way. It's the mask collection. So you get, I believe, seven masks. And when you buy them individually at Sephora, they're much more expensive. So I'm going to open it up. I love the little packaging. It's like an exclusive Sephora thing and it looks like it has some winter decor. Um, you open it up and like I mentioned, you have seven different masks inside. You have a water replenishment mask that is perfect for hydrating. This is something that anybody who is, like I said, younger than me needs to hydrate their skin. This is what you want to get. It's the water replenishing mask. Then you also get two pore minimalist masks this one is just really helping you out to clean out your pores and minimize the way that they look their appearance you also get one brightening infusion mask and the reason i like this one it's a hydrogel mask so it's a little more special than some of their cotton masks it has a nicer material and this one's really great because it's a brightening one so it helps to brighten your skin and just make it look more alive you also have the pore master patch this is a pore cleaning and tightening treatment and then the last mask that you get is the all that contours mask which is really great for tightening your skin now if you don't want to buy this set you can get each of these masks individually at Sephora so you don't need to feel like you have to buy the whole set definitely this winter this is what I'm going to be doing every Friday night every Saturday night while everyone's out partying I'm gonna be masking and chilling <laughs> Speaking of that last mask, all that contours, I actually ended up getting the box set of it. There's five masks in here, and the reason I decided to get this one is because this one is great for special events. And what I mean by that is this mask has caffeine in it. So it's very much the same concept as like the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, but for your face and it's in a mask. And basically what it does is it tightens your skin. Now obviously you use this once, it's not going to tighten your skin forever, and it's not going to two weeks later be still very very tight like as if you just used it but what this is great for is you have a special event coming up if you have a special party a wedding anything like that you want to just look extra fierce you want to go ba ba boom yes honey this is what you would put on before you do your makeup because it will just suck everything in it's like a corset for your face and you're just gonna look bomb.com <laughs> very tight you want to be tight <laughs> I only got five of them because it's cheaper than getting one individually, so I decided to get the box set. Now, keep in mind, I will put the names of all of the products I'm talking about in the description box below. I will also link my other Sephora VIB Rouge haul in the description box below, and I'll link them as cards on the top of this video as well, so you guys can check out other products that I've gotten from the VIB sales in the past. As you can see by the next product I'm about to show you, I went a little bit mask crazy, and honestly, I wanted to get way more masks, but I just love that. I just love skincare so, so much. Um, so the next thing that I got is the Laneige, once again, the Water Bank Soothing Gel Mask. And this one is for all skin types. And how many are in here? There's five in here as well. And they look like this. And basically what it is, it is a face mask that you put on that is extremely hydrating. These masks, along with the Dr. Jart 
water replenishment masks are going to be my go-tos for this season just because of the weather and how drying it is for my skin. Brandon and I are going on vacation in December and we're also going again in January. So these hydrating masks are going to be perfect for my skin because they're going to help balance them out just with all the traveling that we're doing and the different climates that we're going to. So the next products, like I mentioned, was the Laneige. Laneige, I really need to learn how to pronounce this brand, but this is the water sleeping mask So like I mentioned it did come in little kit that I had mentioned to you guys at the very beginning of the haul But I have tried this mask and it is one of my favorite like favorite masks Especially because I'm obsessed with hydration because I want to make sure that my skin just looks beautiful all the time So this is what the mask looks like. I'm gonna open it up for you guys it comes with a cover, but I will open that up so you guys can see. You guys can see there the consistency. It's this really nice like gel kind of formula. And it also comes with a little spoon. Now this is very important. Any potted products that you have like this, any products that you have that don't come in a pump, please never use your finger. Always use like a Q-tip or a spoon or just something. Like don't use your fingers because your fingers have lots of bacteria and when you dip it in the pot you're actually putting bacteria in there so you should always want to scoop and place like on your hand or your fingers and then apply to your skin rather than dipping in with your actual fingers I got this water mask very excited about this one because it's one of my favorite products from this brand it's one of the first products I've ever tried from them so definitely as soon as I knew the sale was going on that was like one of the first things that I put into my cart the next thing that I've never tried before but I'm interested to try and I don't know if I am just a sucker and just decided to get this like I don't know if it's actually worth the money if this is just another glorified lip balm but anyways I decided to try it this is the Laneige or Laneige whatever I gotta learn how to say that lip sleeping mask so it's the same exact thing it's in a pot oh and it comes with like a little scooper here this is what it looks so it's more solid it's more like a bomb type of texture I was hesitant to get this because I was thinking is this really just like a lip balm like what I'm wearing right now on my face is the Blistex lip balm and I love this for the winter months because I feel like it is the only lip balm that is suitable for winter in Canada let me tell you something if you live in Canada or if you're ever gonna visit Canada if you want your lips to survive during the winter season this is a lip balm that you need to use whenever I get cuts in my lips because of the weather changing or anything like that this is a thing that saves my lips and that's one of the reasons why I got the mask too because I, I am prone to getting really chapped lips during the winter months especially getting cuts like right where like the crease of my mouth is so I thought maybe if I did this every night it would help I mean honestly I think that if I used this it would be the same thing and that's why I'm wondering was I silly in getting this but I'm gonna try it I'll see if I like it. If I don't, then I'll just return it back to Sephora. So the next thing I got is just an Origins Eye Doctor Cream. This is for my mom, actually. She likes this eye cream, so I just picked up a backup for her. It just looks like that. Okay, so for my OG subscribers or people who have followed me for a little while, I want you to guess what the next product is. I'm going to give you a hint. I literally have it in every Sephora haul, especially every Sephora sale haul, and I always get the big size and the little size. Let me give you five seconds. You guessed it. It's my Lusitan cream. Always, 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 always. You can find this at my work. You can find this in my car. You can find this in my purse. You can find this by my bedside table. You can find this in my husband's car. Always, always get backup of these. This is the Lusitan Shea Butter Cream. It looks like this for the big one. And it's just the mini one right here. I always get this stuff. It is gold. I've given this as gifts. Like this is my probably one of my favorite things at Sephora. These are my ride or die products right here. My favorite, favorite, favorite cream. So the next thing that I got, I've also talked about on my channel many times before. I've literally talked about this so many times that I don't even want to talk about it again. Like I just want to show you the product and be like, okay, bye. You figure it out. <laughs> so this is the Jack Black Lip Balm. The reason that I get these is because they have SPF in it. And during the summer months, this is the only lip balm that I use. So literally, these are the two lip balms that I use constantly. Winter, summer, done, bada boom, bada bing, finito. Now, um, this one I got because it has two in one and it's like a dollar cheaper if you buy it in the pack rather than if you buy them individually so I got the mint flavor and black cherry and I really don't know if I like mint cherry like I love mint I know that for sure let me smell mint yeah mint I love and Brandon uses this brand a lot too and he likes these lip balms so I buy them for the both of us but black cherry I don't know if I'm gonna like that oh smells very good yes 
Yes, I do like this. Oh, I should have got two. Love this little set. I always pick up backup of these as well because during the summer we go through them like crazy. This is the last skincare item that I have, but I picked up another eye cream. Um, eye cream is very important. And one thing that I don't know if you knew, I have mentioned this on my channel before, but eye cream is not just for your eyes, my dear. No, you can use it any lines all over your face. So around your mouth area right here, you can bring it up towards your back area right here. You can put it along your nose area right here, anywhere that you're experiencing fine lines, not just your eye area. So this is the Eye Duty Triple Remedy AM Gel Cream. It helps hydrate, firm, and rejuvenate your skin. I do have the hydrating balm, and you guys will actually see that if you watched my 2015 VIB Rouge haul, but I wanted to get this one right here just for something a little more hydrating throughout the day, especially because the winter months tend to dry out my skin. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to makeup, which I know a lot of you are very excited for. Um, like I mentioned, I don't think that I got that much makeup, but I also may be living in an alter universe where nothing is ever enough when it comes to Sephora so you tell me <laughs> So the next item I'm very excited to talk to you about because I wanted to get this foundation before but it is so ridiculously expensive like really I don't even know why I felt like I had to buy this product so much because I don't need any more foundation and it's a foundation yet I decided to pay like like regular price the foundation is like 70 bucks like that's insane like come on like let's get a grip guys anyways it is from the brand Guerlain or Guerlain I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right lingerie de peu am I saying that right that can't be its actual name lingerie de peu that sounds like poo lingerie <laughs> I just amuse myself way too much. Anyways, this is the foundation. I am in the color 04W. It's like a warm neutral. Um, beautiful foundation. Don't get me wrong. It is a gorgeous foundation. I've worn this a few times. Every time I've gone to Sephora store, I get them to put it on me just because, you know, I want to be extra like that. And I had it on today earlier when I was at the store. So this is a foundation I'm excited to just kind of play with on my channel and use for, I guess, special occasions. I wouldn't use this if I was just going to the grocery store. My sister got the same exact foundation. It's funny because the Guerlain ambassador I can't remember his name but he's on a few Sephora ads for them and he was the one who actually introduced us to this and we got to spend an afternoon really talking to him and finding out about the Guerlain products and I think that's why I want it so much I saw how he used it on me and I just kind of fell in love with it and now I'm just like okay fine I'll get you you better be worth it. The next product I got, which I feel like doesn't even need an introduction, is the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the color Bow and Arrow. I wanted to get this the last time I was at Sephora, but literally every time I go to Sephora, they're sold out. You know how I was really upset before about how Sephora didn't really have an event and it wasn't like the best VIB experience ever? One thing that I would like to mention is to give them a kudos because a lot of items were in stock. And usually when they have these sales, there are items that I want to get that are not on in stock so the fact that they had a lot of the items that I wanted basically everything I wanted and even then some were in stock and in store very very pleased about and very appreciative Sephora so I will give you a pat on the back for that so this is bow and arrow every time I try to go get this product it's always sold out at Sephora and the last time that we were at the Sephora store my sister and I both wanted it and I let her get it because I wanted to wait till the 20% off sale anyways beautiful color if you are a brown girl like me this is something that you should have it's a color that will look great on its own but it will also look so good mixed in with other colors so this is something that you will see on my channel no doubt 100 percent this is going to be like basically you're going to see me and then you're going to see this all the time basically stars of the show <laughs> Next product I got because Jaclyn Hill basically told me to do it. And it, like I've mentioned on this channel so many times, if Jaclyn Till tells Till, if Jaclyn Hill tells me to jump, my response will be how high because Jaclyn Hill told me to. Okay, you cannot stop talking about this primer. This is the Becca Black light priming filter she always talks about this primer and so i've just heard her talk about it so much and i don't even like primers that's the thing i don't even use primers guys tell me why i went and spent money on this primer tell me oh and let me tell you how much it was at the, at the same time this primer was 36 dollars and 80 cents why did i spend 36 dollars and 80 cents on a primer do you know why because jacqueline hill told me to 
It's ridiculous. Anyways, I'm going to try out the primer. I thought I would give it a shot, see if it makes a difference. Maybe I'll do a first impression. Oh, would you guys want to see that? Like a first impression or comparing like one side of my face with primer and then one side of my face without primer. Ooh, maybe that could be a video. So let me know if you would want to see that in the comment section down below. If you do, I'll totally do it. But I will try out this product. If I don't think it's worth the money, then I'm returning it because that's a lot of money for a primer. Like, come on now. A lot of you might have seen this next product if you were planning on buying some stuff from Sephora too because I love getting little kits like this. The reason why I love these kind of Bite Beauty sets is because you get to experience a little bit of each color and then the color that you really want you can go out and actually buy. So this is a set of four. It's called the Perfect Bite. It looks like this and then it comes in a little can or tin like this. Why did I say can? It's a tin. At the top you get a color sheet like this and then you have the four colors in the box. And I was maybe going to give this as a gift, but now that I've put my fingers all over, I don't think I can. So the first color is called Honeycomb. Then you have Nori, Pepper, and the last one is Fig. I think Fig is my least favorite one. I think the first one, Honeycomb, and then Nori were my two most favorite. But yeah, this is the little Bite Lip Beauty set. I love their lipsticks. They're such a great brand, and they're Canadian brand, which makes me feel awesome for buying them and supporting them. Oh, and I should show you, this is the tote that all the VIB Rouge got with their purchase today. Okay, we're getting down to the last few products, guys. I hope you guys went and got a snack. I never told you to, but if you didn't, go pause this and go get a snack, silly. You should know by now that when you watch my videos, that automatically means it's snack time as well. <laughs> So the next product I got was the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Now, um, this product was like 30 bucks, so that's like ridiculous for a brow gel. But I have heard so many good things about it that I'm like, I have to try this. And I think that when you have really beautiful brows, it's like having really beautiful skin. They're just foundation things in your makeup routine that you just need to have like perfect. And everything else could be crappy, but if those things are perfect, you're perfect. You're A-OK, -okay, you're Angelina Jolie, for God's sakes. I've not tried it yet, haven't even opened it yet. It's just the clear brow gel. You just place it on your brows after you finish. And apparently they stay in place and they don't run away and listen to you. They stay in the spot that you told them to. It's so funny. The last six items, I basically got the same product but in two different colors for each thing. So let's start with the Makeup Forever lip glosses. I got it in the shade 200 and 500. Um, these were impulse purchases. Literally threw these in the bag. Right. This was not the color I wanted. Are you kidding me? Okay. I'm not keeping this color. I am so shocked that this happened right now. This was supposed to be like a really beautiful nude gloss. I don't know how this happened. I have too many colors that are similar like this, so I'm not keeping this, especially for the price. So that's going back. I'm glad I noticed that. That was supposed to be like a nude color. Ugh, so annoying. Anyways, let's hope this one's okay. This one is 200. This is the Makeup Forever Artist Plexigloss. I really like this color and I don't know how it's gonna look on me and I really hope that it turns out good. I hope that this is a color that I can put on top of nudes when I'm wearing them, but I don't know why. Something about this color just makes me really, really like it. So I really hope that I can make this work. If not, I'm gonna have to return it for another color. But I'm looking for like a really beautiful, kind of sheerish, but not sheer lip gloss if that makes any sense at all. The next product that I got in two different colors is the Tarte East Lip Paint. I tried these on today for the first time at the Sephora store and I was pleasantly surprised. I don't know, it's not that I was expecting them to be horrible, but I did not realize how amazing the texture of these were. They feel so creamy and amazing on your skin. I can't even explain to you. Like when I put them on my lips, they were gliding on. They, they literally felt like a cushion or like velvet. I don't even know how to describe it. They just had a feeling, honestly, that I've never felt before in a lip product. I'm, and I don't say that lightly. Like I really was impressed by the formula of this product. And if someone were to differ in opinion, I'd be very shocked because I greatly, greatly loved the feeling of this on my lips. So the first color I got was Choker and I first put this color on my lips and I'm like to my sister, ew, I hate this color, it looks bad. And then two seconds later, we're both like, mm, actually we like it. <laughs> so I decided to get it. It looks like this. It's just like a really beautiful neutral brown. It kind of blends into my skin, but it has this red, not reddish, I wouldn't want to say reddish brown, but it has this really nice like yellowy brownish, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it to you guys, but I will definitely wear this in a tutorial and so you'll see what it looks like. And the next color I got that I really really like, especially for the fall and winter season, is the color Rave. 
and it looks like this. It's just this really beautiful grayish color. It looks great on our skin tone for any girls from around my skin tone. You could definitely do like a really beautiful like red liner like MAC Vino and then put this in the center. Oh, that would look so bomb. Oh! So these are the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops and originally I was just gonna get this color right here which is the color sunlight I put it on my skin in the store and I put it on actually a few times and I really liked it but then I was putting it on and I'm like hmm I think it would look really good mixed with this color right here which is the color candlelight I didn't want to buy both of them because they're quite pricey but the thing is and the reason why I like them is literally guys I'm not kidding you like you literally need a drop like this big, like the size of your hair follicle and it will like make your whole face bleem. Like I'm not kidding you guys. This stuff goes such a long way. I could never see someone having to rebuy this product ever. Like never, 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 never. I really like them both on their own but I think they have a really beautiful custom color when you mix the both of them. So that's why I decided to get both of them. I actually wasn't planning on keeping both of them but then I was playing with them and I'm just like, ooh. I just love them so much. I don't want to give them away. <laughs> okay, guys, so this is the end of my haul. Thank you so, so much for listening to all of the stuff that I got. And for anybody who went to the sale or is planning on getting any stuff from the sale, please leave that in the comment section down below because there are a few days left. And if I see some really good suggestions, then hell yeah, I'm going back or hell yeah, I'm putting an online order and I'm going to get some too. I've been waiting for this sale with anticipation like no other. I'm not joking. It was May and I was like, I can't wait for November because of the Sephora sale. So super excited that it's finally here I don't really feel honestly like I got that much product I really don't like I don't feel like I went crazy and got a lot but obviously the products that I did get were quite expensive and that's why my bill came to so high but thank god I literally had like $500 worth of gift cards so that helped a lot a lot plus the 20% discount that helped a lot with keeping me within my budget for what Brandon said actually I came in way under budget because of all the gift cards that I had he was like shocked when I told him how much I spent like Brandon has never ever been happy with me after I've gone to a Sephora sale and this time for the first time in all of our relationship my husband was not mad at me <laughs> So that's saying something, right? We're, we're growing, we're getting there, we're progressing. <laughs> Any of you who are gonna buy stuff from the Sephora sale, don't worry, girl, you deserve some good stuff. And remember that it's okay to put everything in your basket and then put it back and just run out the store. We all do it, we all do it. And we all see the price tag and get sticker shock. For sure we do. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and please don't forget to share with anyone who is going to the sale or anyone who is going to Sephora and you just wanna give them some ideas on stuff to get. Remember that skincare is so important so it's important when you're getting your makeup to also get some skincare items as well i will talk to you guys in my next video don't ever forget you are so beautiful bye guys